In February of this year, I was supposed to give a keynote speech at Georgia Southern University. Before the event, I refused to sign a state-mandated pledge to not boycott Israel in order to speak. My invitation was rescinded and the conference canceled as a result. I decided to sue the state of Georgia because signing an anti-BDS clause in order to work in the state is a direct violation of my constitutional rights to free speech and to participate in political boycotts. So not too long ago in this program, we talked about a lawsuit involving Abby Martin and the state of Georgia as it relates to their anti-BDS laws. And back then I said that this was one of the most important cases relating to free speech in America because the implications of this law are absolutely, truly far-reaching and how shameless the state of Georgia was in their disregard for the U.S. Constitution and freedom of speech. I mean, if something like this were to stand... I mean, I don't even know what to say. It would just be bad for free speech in America. And if you truly care about freedom of speech, then this is one of those issues where you had to pay attention to the outcome of this. Now, I'll link you to that down below if you want some more details. But I do want to talk about this again because there's a major update to this particular story. As Partnership for Civil Justice Fund tweets, breaking huge victory in our BDS free speech case in Georgia on behalf of Abby Martin. Federal court rules Georgia's anti-BDS law unconstitutional, violates Abby's First Amendment and due process rights by demanding she renounce support for BDS. Co-counsel are Care National and PCJF. Now, in response to this, Abby Martin released the statement, uh, but first via Twitter, she says, proud to announce that we have officially won our lawsuit against the state of Georgia's anti-BDS law, which has been struck down as a result of our case. And her statement reads, I am thrilled at the judge's decision to strike down this law that so clearly violates the free speech rights of myself and so many others in Georgia. My First Amendment rights were restricted on behalf of a foreign government, which flies in the face of the principles of freedom and democracy. The government of Israel has has pushed state legislatures to enact these laws only because they know that sympathy and support for the population they brutalize, occupy, ethnically cleanse, and subject to apartheid is finally growing in popular consciousness. They want to hold back the tide of justice by preemptively restricting the right of American citizens to peacefully take a stand against their crimes. As the world watches Israeli aggression continue in Jerusalem, the West Bank, and against the population of besieges in Gaza, it has never been more urgent to advance the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement against the Israeli regime. The striking of this law is a necessary and timely opening to build this urgent task. And so now the law that's on the books in Georgia is officially unenforceable because predictably it violates the Constitution. The question was whether or not a court would agree that it violates the Constitution. But to, to think that it doesn't violate the Constitution would be unthinkable. You would have to not know anything about the Constitution and it would be um, absurd for a judge to not see this for what it is. And Georgia knew that they were in trouble and they knew that this law was unconstitutional because once they learned about this lawsuit, they tried to actually change the law in order to have the case dismissed. So that way, you know, the judge wouldn't be able to accept this case because, well, if they change the law, then we're just ruling on an old law. But thankfully, this went in the right direction and we finally have some good news in America as it relates to freedom of speech and uh, the BDS movement in America. And anyone who actually purports to care about freedom of speech, but didn't actually talk about this case, which is incredibly consequential. I don't believe that they're truly aware of the threats to freedom of speech and democracy. So credit to Abby Martin. What she did here truly is one of the most important things to advance this pushback against, you know, repressing civil rights and civil liberties in America. And uh, this is absolutely huge. And I applaud her for this. And uh, I'm just... I'm just happy that this went the way that it did. It shouldn't be shocking. Like, we shouldn't feel relieved that a judge saw something for what it was as being brazenly unconstitutional. But in America, when up is down and uh, left is right and people are denying empirical reality, it still feels nice to confirm that what is obvious is indeed the case. The law where they brazenly shut down freedom of speech of people because of their political belief or participation in a movement is unconstitutional and um it's now struck down